Hi everyone, here is a brand new overview video of a brand new model horse. He is called Marcus and Marcus is a brick and mortar or flagship dealer model, meaning um, they're only available at stores that you can walk into and shop in. Um, he's not available online. Um, so I've been dying to get this guy the minute I saw his release photo because I absolutely love this mold. I have one other one on this mold from this year's Briarfest, uh, Vahana. So this is Marcus and he is like a chocolate palomino or like a liver chestnut with like the, the shimmery flaxen like mane and tail. He's almost pearly a little bit in his mane and his tail. And, um, and they said he was like a black forest horse cross with like a shire. That's what they kind of uh, assigned as a breed for this particular model. But um, I went to a store that I normally go to to buy sheep and horse stuff. And um, they must have just got him in, but they were having a big sale. And there was only two left. So I got to pick from two of them. And... Uh, so a couple things I noticed is a few, like one of them had more overspray on the mane. And um, this one was a little bit lighter, like it had more shading in his legs and in his face. And the other one was um, darker overall, but it had more overspray. So I chose this one, but there was only one left after I left the store. So I'm going to um, spin this guy around for you guys and I'm wicked excited that I got him because I've been dying to get this mold. I can't wait until they release both the braided and loose mane version um, as a regular run because I would love to customize one of these to some cool color like I can see endless colors on this mold because it's so pretty. So I'll spin him around and try to focus in on like his face and everything. So he's got black and white eyes. And a pink nose. So you will see a little bit of difference in shading. Um, and you might encounter some overspray on some of these guys. But he's just so pretty. But he does have pinking in his nose, but it's not really picking it up on the camera. There's a couple little rough spots on this model. Um, I don't have a loose mane version um, yet. So this is my first loose mane. Uh, Vahana had the braids. And it has horseshoes. The only thing is the horseshoes are slightly kind of sloppy. Like a few of them have toe clips. One of them doesn't have toe clips. Um, the toe clips are off to the side. So they kind of rushed the, the process of painting the shoes on this particular one. I didn't really notice what the other one looked like. But this guy has a lot of shading through his legs. Like he's got a lot of more lighter shading than the other one did. This run is a gelding, but he's very pretty. I love this color, but you can kind of see the shimmery pearliness to the mane. But he's very cool. It would be really cool if they gave him multicolored eyes, but at least they're not just straight black. They have a little bit of white in them. Try to move them around so you can kind of see them in the sunlight. But extremely pretty model. I don't know what the overall run number will be. Um, I thought brick and mortar models were like 3,000. I could be wrong though. Um, this guy, original... Price was like $54.99, but I got him 20% off, so he was like $43 something, uh, which is really, really good. And um, I'm super excited. I found him and and was able to purchase this horse and be able to handpick from at least one other one. Um, so I hope this video helped you guys. 
and uh, thank you for watching.